A year after a beloved doctor was shot and killed inside Boston Brigham and Women's Hospital, some staffers continue to have big concerns about workplace safety. Fox 25 Investigates has learned federal safety officials from OSHA have issued the hospital a hazard alert letter. New at 6, Fox 25 Investigative reporter Kerry Cavanaugh is in Boston, joins us live with a long list of the ways the feds say the Brigham can improve safety. Kerry? The nurses union brought their concerns to OSHA. They inspected the hospital for themselves in July. And then in December, they sent this letter to the administration of the Brigham saying that threats to the staff here is an ongoing problem. If the nurses aren't safe, no one is safe. Patients aren't safe, visitors are safe, no one is safe. Trish Power says her opinion is based on the 24 years she spent working as a nurse at Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital. She says little has changed in the 12 months since tragedy struck their workplace. In fact, I feel less secure. Dr. Michael Davidson was a cardiac surgeon. In January 2015, a shooter came into the hospital asking for him, shot Davidson, then turned the gun on himself. They could have been, you know, set an example of how you should do hospital security. Since the shooting of last January, we've actually had more nurses physically assaulted this year probably than ever. So Powers, who's on the bargaining chair for the Massachusetts Nurses Association, brought her concerns to OSHA. In December, OSHA issued a hazard letter to the hospital following an inspection. They said the Brigham does not violate any standards and acknowledges programs in place to address workplace safety. But the letter stated employees' exposure to workplace violence is ongoing. It listed 14 recommendations to decrease that threat. They include ensuring doors lock and card access equipment works, suggest metal detectors to keep weapons out, calls for improved security staffing, and better training. The day of the shooting, they were announcing to shelter in place. Most people had no idea what shelter in place meant. Brigham and Women's Hospital declined to speak on camera. A spokesperson emailed a statement saying, quote, the safety of our patients, their family, and our staff is a top priority. We have worked extensively and in good faith with the nursing union to address their concerns and regret that they are exploiting the anniversary of the death of our beloved colleague in this way. We have and will continue to evolve our safety and security protocols in keeping with national best practice. The tragic loss of Mike, who was a, a friend of mine, um, it could have been much worse. The nurses' union really stressed that they believe this shooting was a tragedy, a tragic loss to the entire community, but they believe it only illuminated security issues that have been ongoing here for some time. Live in Boston tonight, Carrie Cavanaugh, Fox 25 News.